Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kyle, also known as K Store, and today I have a Gears of War King of the Hill like commentary gameplay, and I figured I'd talk about Gears of War Judgment and the pre-order bonuses and season pass bonuses. So, um first off, this is uh this is round three of this uh, King of the Hill match. It did go into I guess you can consider it overtime. But uh, this is actually a really good gameplay for me. I, I went, I believe, I had 35 kills, 12 caps. I don't know what the downs were. You'll see at the end of the match, anyways. But yeah, so um, it comes out. Judgment comes out March 19th. Uh, it's gonna be like the prequel to all the Gear series. It's centered around Baird, who is like um, the leader of Kilo Squad. It's called, which is Baird Squad. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a pretty awesome game, and I really look forward to it. It comes out in nine days, so be excited. I, I know I am. So, anyways, VIP, season pass, the, um, it's only 20 US dollars. Uh, it has two game add-on packs, with each has, uh, well, not each, but it comes with six multiplayer maps, and two new modes, and new weapon, and armor skins. It also comes with permanent double XP, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's that's almost worth twenty dollars alone. Permanent double XP. Uh, those who don't have it are gonna be definitely missing out and are gonna be behind on on the game. So I, I mean, if, if you don't have it and someone else has double XP and they get two kills and you get two kills, they're automatically gonna get double the points. So that alone helps you leveling up so much faster. Uh, it also gives you early access to upcoming map packs. Well, upcoming maps, like the the map packs that are coming out, you'll be able to play those earlier than anyone else who is uh, who doesn't have the season pass. Say, if you were to just buy the uh, the map packs as the game came out, you would um, you'd be able to play it a couple weeks earlier than everyone else, get to know the maps for everyone else, and uh, just further your advantage in the game and. Yeah, so uh, that, that's pretty awesome. I mean, get a little exclusive look at the map packs before they even come out to all the other Gears of War players. And get the uh, the edge on everyone else. Uh, I'm looking at notes right now. I wrote a bunch of stuff down. Um, let's see. It also comes with five exclusive weapon skins. I don't really know what the skins are, but I'm sure they'll look pretty awesome. As you can see right now, I'm rocking the uh, purple and gold. Oh, you can't see it right now. I, I got a purple uh, Nasher and a gold uh, Lancer, but I have the Torque Bell right now, so you can't see that. Um, along with that, you're going to get four exclusive armor skins. And, uh, yeah, I believe, I don't know what the armor skins are going to be. I don't know if they're, like, uh, like colored armor, which would be pretty awesome. I think that'd be cool to add a new... Uh, aspect of customization to your Gears player. And as you can see, I'm on Rampage right now, which is pretty sweet. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it for the um, Season Pass, like, extra VIP Season Pass uh, content. And for pre-order bonuses, which I, I highly recommend doing as well, you will... Um, for, I know I don't know what it is for like the Best Buy and Walmart. I I know all the exclusives are probably different, but I go through GameStop usually. So um, I know that the GameStop exclusives are the Young Marcus skin, uh, Lambent weapon skin, and the Classic Hammer Burst, which is pretty awesome. The uh, so you're you're gonna have the original, well not the original, the the Classic Hammer Burst is the original, which is the three round burst. Uh, hammer burst, and then you're gonna have the hammer burst that's been in Gears 2 and Gears 3, which is the uh, semi-automatic single fire. And uh, after that, um, if you're a Power Up Rewards member through GameStop, you're gonna get early access to Overrun, which starts the 15th. And um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty awesome. That's a, a whole new multiplayer like game type. It's if you haven't seen it yet, it's um, Cog vs. Locust, and you kind of have to defend certain points on the map. And uh, once once the Locusts take over that point, you, you like reset the round, and 
Um, then you defend another point, which is pretty awesome. You're gonna have like four support classes. I mean, not four support classes, four different classes. I believe it's like a support engineer, medic, and like a, a spotter, I guess. I don't know, they have like special grenades to... So you can spot enemies through walls and you can just see where they're coming, in fr coming from and everything. Uh, that's pretty much it for the season pass. I guess I can talk about uh, weapons. Um, they'll have, they're gonna have the standard weapons, the, the Lancer, the, both the sawed off and shotgun, uh, regular Nasher, the hammer burst, the three round burst, hammer burst. They're gonna have, I believe they're gonna have the Lancer, uh, the retro Lancer, I should say. I know people aren't too fond of that, but I don't know. Maybe if they just nerf it a little bit, it'll be all right. So. We won't be so uh, completely overpowered, but I don't know. Uh, I believe that's still going to be in there. All the heavy weapons are still going to be in there. Um, let's see, new weapons is are the uh, Marzaka, or I don't know that's how, if that's how you pronounce it, and the Breach Shot, which is like a semi-automatic sniper. It uh, it takes three, I think three body shots to kill, and then two to the head for. Uh, it shot, I'm not really sure though. And then the Bushka is kind of like a replacement for the boom shot. I believe they are going to have the, the boom shot still. And um, that has uh, explosive rounds, but it's almost like a, a noob tube, kind of like a grenade launcher. It's just going to shoot the round, but it won't explode directly. It'll be able to ricochet and bounce off walls. And then eventually, after like three seconds, it'll explode and so you're gonna, that's going to be a, uh, a cool weapon because you're going to have to like time your like ricochet and stuff. You're going to have to time when the enemies are walking in. So if their enemies are coming around a corner, you might want to shoot it earlier rather than with the boom shot. You can shoot it right on them and then it'll, it'll explode instantly. So with that, you're going to have to um, like time your trajectory. And uh, some new nades. There's going to be a stim nade, which is like... Um, you you throw it and you walk into it and it like revive like heals your teammates and yourself. I don't know about yourself, but I know it like heals your teammates. And there's gonna be a support nade, which is the one I was talking about. You throw that if you're a support like spotter um, game type class, you will uh, you'll be able to see enemies through the walls and wherever they're coming from. I don't exactly know if those weapons and uh, nades are going to be in uh, in multiplayer. I know they are going to be in Overrun. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to playing Overrun as a, a competitive game type. I don't know. Uh, I'm a big King of the Hill fan. That's really all I play in Gears uh, Gears Three right now. But they're going to have Domination, which should be a blast. Which is going to be Cog vs Cog, Red vs Blue. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Also, any comments and feedback is always greatly appreciated. Uh, tell me what you, what you think, uh, what you want to see, or what you're most excited about in Judgment. And be sure to subscribe for some future Gears of War Judgment videos. Uh, I will be definitely putting up uh, a lot of Judgment videos since I will be playing it like 24-7. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Till next time, peace.